Hello guys and welcome back to Salty Tales. Welcome back. Look at what we have today guys. Today we have a... Chalk beef stew. Not Italian. This is American guys. This is gonna be awesome. Look at all the colors <laughs> and all the things that we have here. As always, I'm gonna be filming. Miss Ninja is gonna be cooking. That other ninja is gonna be doing everything else. Let's go for it. Let's go and cook. As usual, we're gonna warm up our ninja for five minutes. So let's do it real quick because ninja just got home and he's really hungry. We're gonna turn it on, sear and saute, open your lid and press start. We'll see you back in five minutes. Our ninja is already being preheated. The first thing we're gonna do is gonna use a little bit of olive oil and we're going to sear our chuck for our awesome beef stew. So we're gonna bring it over here. Now we're gonna start adding our spices in there. Pour the crushed rosemary, thyme, and we're gonna do it on each side. We're gonna use some of this beef stew and we're gonna use only a quarter of a teaspoon some pepper. Let's go ahead and flip them over. Oh, look at the beautiful brown color. I love it. Let's go ahead and turn them over on the other side. Make sure that you see here the size of it. Get over here. That thing sounds like it's alive. <laughs> mm, I know that smells so good. That smells so good. Let's turn them over again one more time. You see all that brown on the bottom of the ninja? That's called flavor. Now that our chuck is being here we're gonna take him out and we're gonna start adding our veggies we're gonna use a whole cup of onions cut in chunks there we go at this point we're gonna bring it to medium and you see everything in the bottom okay we're gonna scrape that because we want all that flavor and the onions is gonna start releasing some water as we all know and it's gonna help us to scrape all of this in the bottom see see how easy it's coming off the bottom and look at the beautiful onions there we go cup of celery Turn them around a little bit. Now we're gonna use a half of yellow peppers and we're gonna use some baby carrots. Right here, I have about half a pound. Look at all the colors, how pretty. We have white, green, yellow, orange. And now what I would like to do at this point is put our chuck on top of all the veggies so they start releasing all the flavor that it will go in a beautiful piece of chuck so we're going to use two cups of water and we put a beer in there no not for this one sorry and now at this point we're going to go ahead and add half of the package because i rather to wait at the end to see how the flavors all got together and if we need to add up a little bit more, then we add up a little bit more. And that's about it. Let's go ahead and set up our pressure cooker. Since we have put everything together ready, let's go ahead and set up our Ninja. Let's put our lid in. Pressure, high. And we're gonna set it up for 30 minutes. And we'll see you back in 30 minutes. 
30 minutes passed by. We did a quick release already, so let's go ahead and open our ninja. Whoa, look how beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is what we're gonna do. If you like your gravy just light, you can leave it as it is. But if you wanna do it a little bit heavier, let me show you a little trick. So we're gonna take our chuck out of it. There we go. To make our gravy thicker, we're gonna set up our ninja in sear and saute medium high. Let's press start. We're gonna use a teaspoon of cornstarch. We're gonna put them in some water. Let's go ahead and mix it. And that's what is gonna help our gravy to become thicker. There we go. Let's mix it. Let it boil a little bit and it will get thicker. I will see you in a few minutes. stew is ready and, and I'm super hungry <laughs> we are super hungry it's cold here in Florida today guys so I'm ready for this one today I mean it looks delicious isn't it it does and it smells awesome it looks really good we did a little bit of red rice which is awesome it goes really well with the stew so man I want to try it so bad let's get ready let's go let's go let's, let's, go, go. let's go it's dinner time in this uh, house this is so soft super, it's so tender. super tender Mmm, man. There we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm -hmm. Super tender, super juicy, of course. Yes. <laughs> super, super good. I know you guys are gonna hate me because I give it delicious to everything, but this one is delicious, brother. This is awesome. This one is good. And it's a lot of meat in there. Yes, that's a lot. I did end up putting a little bit more salt at the end. I put about um, a half a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And um, I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, stew has potatoes. Yes, I don't put potatoes in mine because a pressure cooker, if you put them for 30 minutes, you're gonna have mashed potatoes. They're gonna disintegrate. <laughs> So that's why I don't put my potatoes, but this is super, this is super good. Good guys, it's really simple to do. The, the meat is cheap. I mean, this is good stuff, guys. I want to try with the rice. So oh yeah, we go. The gravy, like I showed you before, make it thicker and it's super yummy. Look at this, guys. Forgive me, I'm grabbing it with my hands. Look at this. Look at this, so easy. 30 minutes. Bon appetit, my dear. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm. Let me get some veggies. Have your veggies. It's important to have veggies. That's what she said. <laughs> yes, it is important to have your veggies. <laughs> Very important. Guys, it's, 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 I mean, I cannot say it enough. It's so tender, so soft, and so full of flavors. It's awesome. The, it, it takes the, the, the flavor of the vegetables. You can feel the onions in there, the pepper in there, inside the meat. The flavors are amazing. And it's, it's really easy to do, you know? It's, it's nothing crazy about this thing. It's really just throw a piece of meat in there, put a few the vegetables on it, put a little bit of salt and a little bit of spices, and that's it. You have a beautiful, beautiful meal that you guys are gonna love and your family is gonna enjoy. So that's it for today, guys. We're gonna finish our dinner here. Thanks for joining us in our dinner table. Thank you very much. And if you like the video, please hit it with a like. Yes. If you want to see more videos like this one, just subscribe to the channel. We try to come out with a new video every week. And any question you have, any 
idea you have, any recipe you would like us to do, anything you have in mind, guys, drop it down there in the comments. We read all the comments, we answer all the comments. Yes, we do. That's it for today, guys. Remember that I love you. We love you.